Hello everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizish.com and uh, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is going to cover keyword research. Basically what that means is how do you find out what your target market in your area is searching on Google for real estate. Plain and simple. So here's what you have to do. First you have to go to to, want to this website called adwords.google.com just like you see it's spelled here. So I'm going to take this put this in the browser and go ahead and go to this site and now you're gonna come up to the page just like this what this site is this is basically Google's AdWords site this is where you can manage your pay-per-click campaigns but I want you to ignore everything we're focusing on keyword research so here's where you need to go this section here under you create your ads see the link here get keyword ideas go ahead and click on that ad or this link And now when this page comes up, this is pretty much the part of the of Google AdWords that you're going to be able to do keyword research on. So here's what, here's the things we're going to cover. We're going to cover first of all, how do you what keywords should you actually be picking? I'm going to answer that question for you. Second, I'm going to show you how should you prioritize and organize the keywords that fit your target market. And third, I'm going to show you one little I guess you could call it advanced, uh, advanced tactic or technique, but it's an advanced technique for putting your keywords together. All right, and it's called keyword stacking. All right, um, now basically, I'm going to keep this tutorial very simple because this is targeted towards the agent that is just barely starting his online marketing campaign, and he's barely choosing his keyword focus, his search engine optimization focus. All right, this is towards you as that agent. This isn't for the agent that is already on the first page of Google, or maybe he's on the second page and he's about to break page one. This isn't for you. This is for someone that's just starting a proper SEO campaign, which is pretty much still 90% of all agents, because most agents are still doing SEO completely wrong, or they're not, they're not doing it wrong. They're not doing it. Period. So, so this um, what I'm going to cover on this tutorial are things that are going to be very basic. And I'm not going to go into massive detail about advanced ways of keyword research because there are some. Um, if, a, if a massively advanced search engine optimization person watches this video, they're going to feel that there's nothing for them. But that's that audience. So the, thing, the reason why I mention this to you guys as a disclaimer is because the way you choose your keywords on this is pretty much very basic and simple. But for the real estate industry, it is basic and simple. Don't let SEO people or other tech people try to confuse you and make it like it's keyword research is this massively difficult thing to do. It's very simple, just as I'm going to show you here. So let's just dive to the point, all right? We're at this site, and here's what I want you to do along with you're going to see me, the, ex the example I'll be doing. Choose your main city, okay? And I know you're going to probably have the following question or concern. I have three or four cities I work, so let me give you an example. Orange County, California. I'm going to use the prime city as Irvine, right? Let's say I'm a real estate agent and I'm and I work in Irvine in Orange County, California. Well, I also since I work in Irvine, I might work in a really a close area like Tustin or Costa Mesa or Newport Beach, which are all within a 10-mile radius because they're all very close cities. But and I'm sure you're going to have that in your market, but for the sake of keyword research, you have to understand this one important fact when you first start a marketing campaign you're not going to be able to focus your SEO on multiple cities you're gonna to have to choose one so here's the question I'm gonna ask you about choosing what city you're gonna pick I'm choosing the city of Irvine out of four or five related areas because one because several reasons number one it's the biggest it's a gateway city meaning the type of buyer that searches in Irvine it's also the same type of buyer that might buy a home in Newport Beach or it might buy a home in Tustin. So it's the same kind of buyer profile that makes it up. Let me give you an example I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do something like Newport Coast, which is more of a different market. It's a much higher end market mixed with Costa Mesa. Um, that kind of keyword research or that kind of mixing of cities will, make, will not make any sense because the type of buyer going to Newport Coast is not the same type of buyer going to the city of Costa Mesa. So here's the point. When you're trying to figure out right now, let's say if you just now asked you, if you just now said to your head, to yourself, I have four cities that I want to focus on. Ask yourself the following question. Which one of those cities could operate as the gateway city 
and can serve as a city that one buyer from that main city would also be interested in the others. Whatever that city is, make that your central focus for your SEO campaign in the beginning for your main site. So, in, so with all that being said, I'm gonna choose Irvine. So here's what I want you to do. After you choose your main city, here on this box here, type in the following phrase, your city name, so I'm doing Irvine, and then the word real estate. Then hit enter, and now type in your city name, and then type in the word homes. Now hit enter one more time, type in your city name with the, with the keyword condos, all right? Now, if, in, if you're in an area where condos is not a word used, maybe you, your area uses the word townhomes, then replace the word condos with townhomes. Whatever word is primarily used in your area, all right? So here are the three keywords. Now, all you have to do at this point is hit search. And what's gonna happen is Google's gonna populate this with all these keywords that are related to exactly the keywords we had just now put in as you can see here right so here's what I want you to do next we need to sort them see how it's sorted in in no order it's pretty much just sorted by the keywords and, or it looks like it's alphabetical whatever it is it's not sorted in an easy way for us to make sense of so here's what I want you to do click on this link one time and that's gonna make this be the highest searches to lowest searches so it becomes much easier to make sense because what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to pick the keywords that get the the keywords that are a direct match with these or most related to these that get the most searches and choose those as our primary and secondary and third tier keywords so click this link once and then see how it reorganizes it now be aware of the following when it reorganizes you're gonna have random keywords most likely you're gonna have random keywords that aren't related specifically to the three keywords we put in here so as you can see Irvine Homes is finally right here and it says 135, 135,000, but there's several above it. Here's what I want you to just do. Don't worry about that stuff. Let me explain to you before we dive in what is happening. Where are all these random keywords coming from? Um, not so much where they're coming from, but what they are. Google gives you three type of ways to see different keywords. It's called a broad match, an exact match, and a phrase match. Here's what each of them are, okay? A broad match means the following. If I do a search on Google for the keywords Irvine Homes, and let's say I added several other words, Irvine Homes and, and Furniture. Let's just say I threw in the words and furniture. I'm making something up right now off the top of my head. If I search the keywords Irvine Homes and Furniture, well, to Google, that's still going to count as a search because under the broad match, it matched enough, meaning the keyword Irvine was in it and the keyword Homes was in it. So that equaled a broad match tally in Google's eyes. So broad match, just as a heads up, just to keep it simple, I'm not gonna go into way too much detail, but broad match is as simple as this. I, here's the main point. I don't want you to use broad match as a measure other than the following, all right? Do this. When you look at broad match, look at a general idea of what the global search is. So we have Irvine Homes, that's one of our keywords, 135,000, that's a lot. Then let's now find where Irvine Real Estate and Irvine Condos is. Here's Irvine Real Estate, 49,000. Now Irvine Condos, if that's going to even show up somewhere. It might, it's, it's on the second page. You know, so let's get more results showing up. What I just did is I just changed the, re the results to show me more. So here we go, trying to find Irvine condos. Okay, maybe I passed it. Let's just forget that because I don't want to get too carried away with this. But the point is just, oh, there it is, 12,000. So right now, here's the whole point. With broad match, with these keyword phrases, what, what is this already telling me? This is already telling me that the keyword Irvine homes so far right here is get has the most searches and then Irvine real estate at 49,000 has the second most and then we have Irvine condos at 12,000 getting the third most so my initial feeling it would be the following here's how I would order my keywords I have a little notepad document right here primary so far based on the keyword research would be the following Irvine homes will be our primary keyword our secondary keyword will be Irvine Real Estate. And then our third tier keyword will be 
Irvine condos. That's the initial uh, you know, results that I'm getting from looking at broad match. But remember how I said broad match earlier on isn't a good measure because someone could search Irvine homes and furniture, a completely irrelevant phrase, and it'll still count? It's not, a good, it's not an accurate number. So here's what you need to do. Learn what phrase and exact are, and here's what they are. Phrase means, let's just get rid of it and let's go to phrase. So now I uncheck broad, and now I'm going to click on phrase. And you're going to see that you're going to see that all the keywords now get restructured. There's less searches, but now they have quotes around them. Here's what that means. Google's definition of a phrase match means that the exact phrase itself, Irvine Real Estate, as a phrase, showed up in a search query. Meaning, I could, as a consumer, type in the keywords Irvine Real Estate Market, Real Estate in Irvine, uh, real estate market of Irvine, but the, the fact that the phrase of Irvine and real estate is there, that counts in the eyes of Google. The phrase itself exists, not just the single word. So if someone typed in Irvine furniture, it's not going to count that with Irvine homes and furniture like it did with Broadmatch. So the point is, there's less searches, but there's one key benefit. It's more accurate. Someone searching a phrase that has Irvine real estate in it is more likely to be an actual buyer or so a seller, someone interested in Irvine real estate. So here's the main point now I want you to get. Just like we did earlier, let's now find where are our three primary keywords that we're searching, where are they in the rankings? So now we have Irvine real estate has 12,000 searches a month, right? Irvine homes has 4,000, and then Irvine condos is going to be right here at 1,300. So what is this telling us? This is telling us that Irvine Homes or Irvine Real Estate has 12,000, which is three times more, three times bigger than Irvine Homes. So Irvine Condos is way at the bottom, so that one's a given. So here's what I would do at this point: given my keywords, I'm gonna change the change the order from secondary is now going to be homes, and my primary is now going to be real estate. So here's the point. Here's why I did that. Because under the phrase match, which is a better accurate turn, a better accurate estimate of your markets, um, of your target markets keywords, and what's more realistic, real estate gets way more searches than homes. All right, so that's why I reorganized my keywords to be primary, secondary, and third with what I'm seeing off the off the phrase match. Now let's go to the final one. So at this point, though, here's where my head would be at. My head will be at. I think I'm gonna pretty much stick with these keywords because the phrase match gave me that but I still want to just check what's called the exact match and the exact match means exactly what the word is it means an exact match and nothing else meaning I'm gonna change my match type to exact and see how it does this right here's what an exact match is if I go on Google and I only type in the keyword Irvine real estate that's an exact match if I type in real estate in Irvine, that's not an exact match. That's a phrase match. If I type in real estate in Irvine and homes with furnished, now that doesn't become an exact match. That doesn't become a phrase match. That could fall into one of those broad-based matches that I talked about. So just keeping it simple, exact match is another criteria just for me to look at how does the rankings go according to the keyword list I have here Irvine real estate is it still the most search Irvine homes is it still the most search and Irvine condos is that still the or the third most searched so under exact match Irvine real estate still is the most searched Irvine homes is still the second most search and Irvine condos is still the third most search so this gives me a good idea that good I made a right choice of choosing my primary secondary and third tier keywords because according to the monthly searches and well the local searches these are still these are in hierarch in a hierarch hierarchical order all right so now that is everything regarding number 1 and 2 about choosing a set of keywords choosing your main ones based off of how much searches they get but now there's the little criteria about keyword stacking i want to share with you all right and here's when it becomes relevant here's what keyword stacking pretty much is you see on this exact phrase we have the second most search phrase is Irvine homes for sale it actually gets more searches than Irvine homes well 
Let's now go backwards and see how many phrase matches of Irvine Homes for Sale does, uh, how many phrase matches exist. So I'm going to click on phrase, and now I'm going to look for that random keyword that showed up called Irvine Homes for Sale. So where is that? Right here, Irvine Homes for Sale, 2,400. That's still a good amount. So here's what this means. Here's why I'm caring. Here's what keyword stacking is. See how we chose primary Irvine real estate, secondary Irvine homes, and third Irvine condos? Well, we're being told that a keyword Irvine homes is also swallowed up in this exact phrase of Irvine homes for sale, which means we can stack them, okay? Here's what I mean by stack them. I've been telling you that second one should be Irvine homes to choose, but since Irvine homes for sale still has the exact keyword of Irvine homes in it, what we could do is the following. We could make this now Irvine homes for sale as our secondary keyword because this is what the, the this is what keyword stacking is by getting ranking for this phrase we're also getting ranking for this phrase okay now same thing applies to Irvine real estate let's just say I'm making this up right now I don't see the data to support it but let's just still pretend let's pretend that the keyword Irvine real estate agent happened to come up a lot right let's just say that was the case well, what keyword stacking would be in this instance would be adding the word Irvine real estate agent is going to optimize for two phrases. We're optimizing for Irvine real estate agent as one phrase, and we're optimizing for Irvine real estate as another phrase. So what I want you to get from this is if your keyword research for your city has a phrase like we just now saw for Irvine homes and Irvine homes for sale where you see a phrase that gets a lot of searches is also in inherently exact phrase showing up in another like Irvine Homes inherently shows up exactly the same exact keyword phrase within another phrase like this then use that one instead as your primary keyword for that main group so Irvine Homes for Sale now is optimizing for Irvine real for Irvine Homes and Irvine Homes for Sale so here's the point let's say we're actually making the title to our website Here's how I would do it. Irvine Real Estate comes first in our titles. All right, and I'm going to have other tutorials that dive into this in more detail, but for now, here's how here's what it means. Irvine Real Estate is the first one. The next one would be Irvine Homes for Sale. The next one would be Irvine Condos. And here's why when you do your keywords in your titles, when you do them in this order, this is this is showing the order of priority of your keywords, okay? Your first and most important ones are at the beginning. Your second most are in the middle and your least important are at the end. Google gives relevance to the keywords in the beginning more and then tri it trickles down as it gets farther down the line. So since these are our primary from most searched to second most searched to third most searched, we want to organize our keywords in our titles the exact same way. First being first, second being second, and third being third. All right. So look at the phrases here though. To the normal eye, we would say, if I ask you the question, how many keywords does this optimize for, the normal person would say three, because it optimizes for Irvine real estate, it optimizes for Irvine homes for sale, and it optimizes for Irvine condos. When in reality, the answer isn't three, it's four, because we did keyword stacking with this Irvine homes one. So it's actually optimizing for Irvine real estate, Irvine homes, Irvine homes for sale, and then Irvine condos. All right? So now let's pretend in your market you actually have a lot of people for some reason searching real estate agents themselves. You could also add the keyword agents here and what that would do is that would optimize for the keyword Irvine real estate, Irvine real estate agents, Irvine homes, Irvine homes for sale, and Irvine condos. So through one title we're optimizing for multiple keywords just in one. All right. So that is what keyword stacking is. Most of the time though, just as a tip you guys, you don't really want to put the agents one there necessarily because unless your market has a lot of searches for it like we saw Irvine Homes for Sale does you know Irvine Homes has 4,400 Irvine Homes for Sale has 2,400 and then when we did the exact phrase Irvine Homes for Sale actually got more searches than Irvine Homes that's a good sign of a keyword that you should be stacking if if you don't want to stack a keyword that has like 100 searches with the keyword that has like 2,000 that would be pointless so only if they're actually related in number in the volume of searches they get a month like we see here these are related because they're very close if they're related and they're close then stack them if they're not then ignore them alright so 
that's the pretty much everything on the keyword research. Here's the main tidbit. I know that you're going to have the urge to want to do multiple cities. You might want to do something like this. You, and this is not a good idea at first. Doing a keyword phrase like this where you have completely different cities is a really bad idea, uh, especially as a new site. Maybe it's a, actually, it is a good idea if your site has massive authority and ranking already for one set keyword. Let's say you're massively ranked for urban real estate. When you're already ranked for that, then you could start trickling to others. But in the beginning, we're talking about properly building an infrastructure, a marketing infrastructure. You have to choose one set term. And the set term is, it was a city, going back to the beginning of the tutorial where I explained about cities, one set term is Irvine, all right? So you have to do that, okay? Choose one and focus on one. I'm going to show you guys other techniques on how to still try to get traffic for second-related second cities like Tustin or Costa Mesa or, or whatever your cities are. I, there's other tutorials that I'm going to be going over that show you that, but you have to follow this step-by-step -step fashion, okay? If you don't follow it step-by-step -step fashion, you're going to be confused and you're gonna have a house built on crappy, bad foundation. And what's that do to home values? Let's, what would that really do? Let's think about it in a big way. And I know I'm taking time doing this on a tutorial that's technically over, but this is important. You have to understand this. If you're valuing a home and you see that the foundation is messed up, what does that do to that property's value? It messes the property's value up big time. Well, guess how if someone's valuing your business or if I'm gonna evaluate your marketing plan and I see that your foundation is built on weak ground because you're over optimizing or you're trying you're overextending your focus then now you just now cut the value of your marketing campaign it's the same exact thing so focus 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 on one key area first all right so that's everything on this tutorial if you have any questions email me at training at tizish.com or go to our fan page at facebook.com forward slash tizish and ask me a question but you please refer me to what video tutorial you're talking about. I would prefer questions on Facebook because other people will have the same thing and if you guys could all just contribute to one question base, that will help even more than, than email, all right? So that's everything. Uh, good luck with all this and I would love to see how you guys use your keywords and I'm more than happy to help. It takes two seconds. This video took forever, but it takes me two seconds to do this research on your keywords if you just ask for the order and I'll be more than happy to help. Take care, everybody.